I'm Julia Jackson, and this is Music Unite. Badass Brewery. It's badass. Whenever you're ready, action. This is James with Music Unite. I'm here with artiste extraordinaire Alan Scott. Alan, how you doing tonight, man? Good. How are you doing? Excellent, excellent. I know we got Mr. Jewelry Man here, Jewelry Man to the Stars. Tell us about some of the stuff you've done and how you got your start. Well, I got my start after the military and stuff. The necklace broke and I decided to put a, take a beer cap, put it on some a string with some beads, and someone asked me to buy it and sold it to them. So, you know, that's what kind of got me into it and everything. And then I uh, just went from there, started making belts, cuffs, rings, let's say, you know, anything I can do. <laughs> did, you, great. did you go and have any formal training? Did you no. just kind of pull them out of your head and say, this will be cool? A lot of it's been, you know, just self-taught or just look at something and I can take the idea from there and create it into an actual working piece, I guess you could say. So, uh, given those those pieces, tell me about some of your favorite pieces you've made and who you've made them for. Um, you know, I'd say uh, probably the, my favorite piece has been the buckle I did for Dave Mustang from Megadeth and everything. He wanted a buckle, something different, so I did a... a a buckle with uh, three crosses on it, solid silver, and he, he liked what I did and everything, and now he only wears my stuff that I know of, so it's been pretty cool awesome. so far. So word of mouth from Dave has got You know, word of mouth, um, a lot, you know, just, I call it right spot, right place, you know, a lot of, uh, um, like when I met Ozzy, Osb um, Ozzy Osbourne's best friend and everything, I was at a bar, and just started talking to him, and he, you know, asked me what I did, and hour later, you know, we're talking, he's like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I'll come to the concert. Um, so I went to the concert, you know, he introduced me to Lamb God, Static X, and they all love my stuff, and just kind of went from there, I'd say. Kind, kind of opened a lot of doors. Blown up into the, the rock scene, but I know you do country stuff, too, for country artists. Country, I just uh, happened to be talking to two guys and everything, and I happened to be the guitarist and drummer for Rodney Atkins. And Rodney Atkins says, the funniest thing, I'll never forget it, he said, the only reason I want to work with you or deal with you is, is just because of your hair. Because you don't look like anybody else that comes up to me and stuff. So I just kind of went on there and everything. And uh, he's like, uh, what are you doing next week? And I'm like, oh, nothing. He goes, why don't you meet me in Fort Worth, Texas? And so I went out to Fort Worth, Texas, took him some more jewelry, met Kelly Pickler and uh, Miranda Lambert. And, you know, that's how it kind of the country scene kind of opened up for me on that area. That's cool. I've seen some of your, on your, on your Facebook page, I've seen some of the pictures with, with some country artists, and you make them even more cooler than they are by you being in the picture, which is kind of kind of a neat thing to see, the juxtaposition between, you know, obviously a rock and roll kind of guy with country people. Yeah. It's kind of awesome yeah. to see that. Yeah, it's like a crossover, I guess you could say. You know, I think, uh, you know, they all listen to the same kind of thing. Um, they might not say it, but there are some times you'd be on Jason Aldean's bus, and he's got, you know, Anthrax or... Ozzy Osbourne playing in the background and everything like that. So it's kind of funny. I've met uh, Nick, who used to play with Static X, that he wanted to be a country in a country band playing drums and everything. So I thought that was kind of funny, you know. It's especially him being in, you know, Static, Static X. X. Right, right. <laughs> I know uh, uh, a lot of people in certain genres are fans of other genres, and they don't really let it know be known. But that's kind of cool to hear somebody that's on the inside seeing that, you know, that. This country artist listens to this rock and roll. This rock and roll listens to this country. That's it's kind of cool. Like we were talking about earlier, that if you're a music fan, you're an all-out music fan. It should be in your blood. And you should be bleeding it, no matter what the genre is. That's oh, yeah. kind of what we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah. I, just like me, you know, you probably wouldn't know stuff. I mean, heck, put me on some Millie Vanilli once in a while, and we'll bump <laughs> chest. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I know. So, uh, besides your jewelry, what, what what do you have going on with your personal management? Uh, you know, um, I've had a couple of friends, or I'd say people I've met over the years, like you know Dan Nelson, who used to be lead singer Anthrax, kind of talked to me about working with him, and then John Krabi, and then uh, Jerry Matanio. You know, they've already started approaching me and stuff, and I'm like, you know, I'll try it. And then uh, I met Jennifer McAllister. She's a little snowboarder and stuff, and I'm, you know, I figured I probably could manage her and everything since so she's getting up there and. Uh, Rank is the snowboarding and stuff. So something new I'm working with. I'm trying to do my own shows, concerts. Um, you know, right now uh, the Super Bowl committee's got a bunch of stuff. Um, luckily, they're 
actually know who I am going over everything and hopefully you get a call here shortly and everything to do something with them which would be pretty awesome. That's cool. I know you are uh, you told me before too that you got something going on with the Country Music Awards. Yeah, um, Inspirational Country Music Awards which is the, more like the Christian uh, country. Uh, I'll be going there and um, actually walking down the red carpet and actually you know, go to the events and stuff, meet some of the artists and all that and hopefully get some more new clients out of that. But it's a uh, it's definitely something I, um, I different that I've never been to, but it's a great experience and stuff. You know, um, I've done it. This is my second time going. I'm glad that I got invited, and hopefully, you know, I'll go again next year. Where uh, where can we uh, go to find your stuff? Well, you know, um, Hard Rock is a lot of here in Albuquerque carries my stuff, and then of course um, I have a Facebook. You can either put Alan Scott Celebrity Jeweler. And Google, I come up with that or Country Leather Rock is my uh, email, uh, gmail.com, if I can speak <laughs> everything. So it's easy to get to. So we're here with Alan Scott on Music Unite. Check us out. Music Unite, and we are proudly sponsored by Music Go Round.